Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the criteria range that you have created to also perform database functions on the data stored within your table. Database functions are much like your typical functions, like average, sum, or product, but will only be performed on values in rows that match a certain criteria that you specify in your criteria range. For example, if you wanted to sum an amount field, but only if the region field was equal to north, you could use the database function of dsum to do that. Most of the database functions simply perform your usual mathematical operations, but only for records that match the criteria that you specify. You can view the various database functions by looking at the database category of functions shown in the function drop-down list inside of the Insert Function dialog box. Note that this function group is not displayed by default within the buttons of function categories shown within the function library button group on the formulas tab within the ribbon in Excel. You can, however, click the insert function button within the function library button group on the formulas tab within the ribbon to open the insert function dialog box. Then you can select the database category from the or select a category drop-down to view the database functions available in Excel. Notice that these database functions are all strikingly similar in the structure of their syntax. Most are simply equivalent to the same mathematical function but with a letter D added to the front. For example, you use the average function to find the average of selected cells. To use the database average, the function simply becomes D average. Secondly, each database function only requires three arguments. Database, which is the table cell range reference. Field, which is the name of the field enclosed in double quotes, or the column number of the field that contains the values upon which you want to perform the selected function and criteria, which is a cell reference to the criteria range which contains the criteria used to decide which rows will be included in the function. The criteria range is exactly the same as the criteria range that you make when creating advanced filters for your table, as we saw within the previous lessons within this chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.